Hello, um, I'm going to make this as quick as possible because I actually don't know how long, um, how, how much space I have on this camera. It's a new camera, it's a different camera and it seems to shut off. Uh, I've recorded this a few times and it keeps shutting off so I'm just going to be very fast. Um, uh, today I'm going to talk about um, Chairman of Fools by Shima Chinode. I've just finished reading this book and I absolutely adore it. I'll just write down very quickly in the description box the the description at the back but I spoke about it in my last video my video of um, books to read in 2013 and I think it was the fourth book or you know something like that so um, I really enjoyed this book it's very good it's very fast, fast paced and my favorite thing about it is its slice of life which is my favorite genre and slice of life is a genre that is um, my favorite kind of fiction because I think it's the best uh, depiction of reality or well, comes very close to the reality so I, I love books that are in slice of life and films that are in slice of life those are my favorite um, slice of life being a genre that has basically no kind of set plot line or you know not everything is so significant just like in life you know um, characters walk in and walk out and just like they do in life and not everybody has a huge role to play and not every scene um, is, is working towards making some sort of point about anything so that's what I loved about this book it was a pleasant surprise to find that it's slice of life and I really enjoyed that um, Secondly, I enjoyed this book because of its, it's very fast paced, it's written in present tense, so you feel very absorbed in what's happening, so it's very interesting for me. Um, third thing that I loved about it is, um, the third thing that I loved, oh, the third thing that I found very interesting, I don't know if I loved it or not, um, it has an unreliable narrator, as in, um, just like, you know, another book called Vladimir Nabokov, but the difference here is that this one is not um, written in the first person narrative. So I'm not completely sure if it can count as having an unreliable um, narrator. So this one um, has kind of, the the main character is drunk, I think, for most of the book. So you, so you can never really be sure if what is happening is what is happening, you know, because many times in the book um, something will happen to him and then um, another character will talk about it and it will have, and it will sound very different um, the way that the other character in another scene, in a in a scene maybe a few chapters down, will describe something that happened in the first scene, but is completely different from the way that the narrator kind of put it. So I actually don't know if I'm in the frame right now. But anyway, yeah. So that's what I liked about it. it had an unreliable editor, um, which is it might be nice for some people. Um, other people may not like that, but I enjoy it. I think it's very interesting. It's very keeps you alert of what's happening and also kind of intrigued to see how the story unfolds, even though there's no kind of obvious story. Things are just happening. Um, the fourth thing that I liked about it um, is it gives a very interesting view of Zimbabwe that I would have never known especially of Shona culture I would have never known it a um, middle-class um, Zimbabwe uh, modern-day Zimbabwe is, is very interesting according to the book um, in some ways similar to my own life in Botswana in other ways very different so I enjoyed it for that um, you know gave me a glimpse into Zimbabwe that I would never see um, in any other way um, no TV you know kind of nothing that I would see on TV or nothing that I would hear anywhere else so I really enjoyed it for that um, I don't know the fifth thing that I liked about it it's very well written it's very very so if you are a writer I recommend you read this book especially if you want to kind of brush up on your skills in terms of writing in present tense um, he does it very well you feel very involved in the story um, but not so involved <laughs> yeah so um, so it's it's very it's very well written but not too well written that it gets in the way of the story itself so that's always very interesting I'm trying to remember the other thing that I liked about it um, it's a good book it's a good book um, you should get it um, I got it from a friend of mine that went to Zimbabwe and I asked him very politely to bring me some books that were written by contemporary Zimbabweans and you know um, that's a kind of little bit of a program that I'm doing for myself. So please, um, if you have any books from your own country, if you're in an African country, please recommend those to me. Um, any writers that you think I should, you know, know about that write about contemporary Africa, I'd be very interested in that. Um, um, and if you yourself are a writer and you have a book, please, you know.